Today I'm going to show you how to create an easy light burst effect in Photoshop, this tutorial is suitable for beginners learning how to create text effects. First, go to File and create a new document. Click the color picker and choose the black color. And click OK. Just copy these settings. When you're done, click Create. Select the Horizontal Type tool. Go the To window and choose the character. Click the color picker and choose the white color. And click OK. Just copy these settings. Click on your document and type out your text. Click and drag to highlight the middle and bottom text and adjust the baseline. Close the character panel. Select the Move tool. And position the text in the center. Go to the Layer panel. Click the FX icon and choose the Blending options. Select the Bevel and Emboss. Click the Highlight Color Picker and choose the white color. Click the Shadow Color Picker and choose the black color. Just copy these settings. Select the Gradient Overlay. And click to edit the gradient. Open the Basics group icon and choose the black and white. Double-click the black color stop slider. In the color picker, choose dark blue color. And click OK. Double-click the white color stop slider. In the color picker, choose light blue color. And click OK. Just copy these settings. When you're done, click OK. Press Ctrl J three times to make a copy of layer. Select the three layers by holding down Ctrl key. And change the blend mode to dissolve. Go to the filter and choose the convert for smart filters. Go to filter, blur and choose the radial blur. Just copy these settings. And click OK. Change the blend mode to linear dodge. Let's apply the effect again go to filter and choose the first option here. And click OK. Press Ctrl J to make a copy of layer. Select the background layer. Now, I'm going to add a star background. Go to file and choose the place embedded. And place the star background. Hit enter or return on your keyboard. Reduce the opacity of star layer to 25%. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose the levels. Click on the clip to layer icon. Adjust the shadow input level to 100, midtone to 0.35 and high lights 255. And this is the result.